And hello folks, it is I, Kamikaze, here to bring you another one of my quick tutorials. And hello again folks, it is I, Kamikaze, here to bring you another quick tutorial of something that you probably don't need, or you tried to figure out and you couldn't figure out yourself. In this case, we are going to take a Pi 4, and we are going to make it boot and play videos directly off of a USB. That way you can change the videos on the USB and easily just plug it in there and reboot and have the new videos play on your television monitor or other kind of visual representation that you're using. Uh, in the case of the, the Pi 4, I'm using it for the capabilities of the 4K resolution output. Um, I'm only going to be using the, the 30 hertz or 30 FPS output because that's all I need. So uh, realize that we're not enabling the 60 and if you're interested in that, I will leave uh, a little bit of information at the end of the uh, tutorial for that. But in this case, what I have done is I've created a foolproof process, which I'm going to explain here, but is also in the description below. So at this point, you could just read the description below and you should be able to just read it, follow it, and get it done without watching the rest of this video. But um, if you do end up watching this video and the video does help you out, please make sure that you hit that like button, subscribe, and if you'd like to donate to help me purchase more things or possibly, you know, like a Pi 3 or a Pi 2 to be able to try and get this to work on those as well. Uh, that's always an option as well. So now we're just going to get straight into uh, the tutorial. All right. And here's the video portion of the tutorial. As I mentioned before, you could follow the instructions below and you shouldn't have any problem setting it up without watching the video, but I do appreciate if you do. Uh, first thing you're going to need is you are going to need an SD card reader, mainly a micro SD card reader. That way you can uh, write to your memory card and a memory card of micro SD no less than four gigs. This image is two and a half gigs in size, and so you do need at least uh, a four gig memory card in order to continue the process here. Um, then you will also need a USB to store the videos that you want of whatever size that you deem fit for your purpose. Uh, I stored all the videos in MP4 format, so I can mention that I know that MP4 video formats work just fine. I also use the H.265 codec, but that's just for compression and for the fact that I'm using 4K video. And uh, so what we're going to be doing is, first things first, we're going to take the memory card from the Pi that I currently have, which I just took out of my PC, and we're going to stick it into the card reader. Then we're going to, this is assuming you've already downloaded the uh, image file from below, make sure you've done that. We're going to go and find that on our hard drive, which is named Pi 4 Kiosk is what I named the image, just because that's exactly what we're turning our Pi 4 into. Then we open it, you select the storage device that you're going to write to, in this case, my 32 gig micro SD card. And then before you do that, you want to make sure you go and change the settings to whatever you want to use. If you want to use SSH, if you want to set the username and password, if you want to configure the LAN. There are default settings that I have on there, which um, I never removed. They're not the default settings, they're my default settings, so they're of no use to you. So my recommendation is to do this before continuing because this is just what I use on a regular basis. Well, for this purpose. Uh, and then we're just going to write it straight to the card. And then we'll be back when it's done. All right, and now that we're done, I'm not going to bother verifying because I'm not worried about it. But if you want to, you can let it do so. Um, now that we have this done, we can eject it from here and stick it into our Raspberry Pi 4. In this case, my little beast I've got here. And so then, what you want to do next is uh, take your video, uh, your USB, and plug it into your PC. And so when your USB pops in, you're going to want to uh, go and format it. And what you want to format it to is you want it to be on an EXFAT. And you need to name it USB in all lowercase letters. I state this again, USB in all lowercase letters. No spaces, nothing else, just USB in lowercase letters. It is a very important setting that if you do not do so, it will not read the files off of your USB. Um, so in this case, we already have some video files on here. We have one that I just created uh, that was part of actually building of the beast, which I never actually posted. We've got a random one that I created of just a motivational poster, and then we have one that has a bunch of, like, uh, clips from movies. 
in the manner in which I'm going to use this. So now that I, we're just going to assume that you're getting to the point that you formatted it and you put the videos that you want on there. As I mentioned, I've only used MP4, but I believe other formats will work, but I can't tell you which ones. So then we take the USB out of there, go to your lovely little uh, Pi 4, and plug in the USB. Uh, so far, from my experience, it doesn't matter which port you plug it into, as long as you plug it into a port. And now we are going to turn around and go to my capture card, which is currently set up for 4K. So that way I can do 4K 30 FPS because the, the last video on here is designed for the uh, pizza parlor that's in my town. And so uh, they have a, a weird setup which allows it to go to multiple televisions. But in this case, we're just going to boot it up now, plug it in. And now if everything went correctly, you literally shouldn't have to do anything else besides unplug the USB, put in whatever videos you want, and then plug the USB back in and reboot it. And it should just do its thing. As mentioned before, you don't need this monstrosity of like cooling or anything of the sort. I just do that for my own little experimentation purposes. This is using LibreElect with Kodi, which is free programs, mind you. Hence why my entire tutorial here is free, not charging you anything like those other sites. And it should boot straight into video. So as I said, this was part of Building the Beast. Um, which I never posted um, and it does have audio, but we're gonna skip that and then uh, Just to show you that it will automatically play the videos. We're gonna let this thing sit through it This is a motivational poster thing from some online generator that I was playing around with And so I turned it into a video just for the sake of this and then it should automatically go into the next one as you can see I've got some clips here of some uh, Deadpool free guy and uh, how to train your dragon as well as my logo um, for the sake of what's going on here the uh, uh, the TVs that it's going to be plugged into is going to separate it into four 1080p signals where I'm plugging it in so it's that's why my setup for that video is but as you can see it renders 4k resolution at 30 FPS and that is not an issue whatsoever um, and yeah that's it you're good to go I mean, you've been good to go since we plugged it in, but I thank you for sticking around. Uh, I'm going to give a little bit of information about the uh, the 4K 60 FPS option, and then I'm going to call it a day. So, thanks for watching, and here comes the next information. All right, so what we're doing here now is we're going to turn around and enable 4K 60 FPS, just so you are aware for when it comes down to the, the Pi 4, uh, let me just go large screen here. Uh, only this first port is capable of 60 FPS or 60 Hertz. The second one is not. And if you enable 60 Hertz here, it's not going to do anything here. We want, if you want multiple outputs, the most output that this thing can do is two 4K 30 Hertz. So if you want 60, this is what we're doing to enable it on this first port. First, uh, and the easiest way of doing it, instead of like SSHing or otherwise, we're just going to take the memory card and stick it back into the computer. So let's head back over to the computer, shall we? And then when that pops up, we're going to uh, access it here. Oops, got to bring that back here. And we're going to go down to config.txt. And so we open this up, and when we open this up, we've got this lovely thing here. Uh, this config and stuff on here, I have it set for, you know, possible overclocks, which are not needed, but you can always do it if you feel like it. But what all we have to do is add one line to it, anywhere. I mean, literally anywhere we're going to add a line to it. going to hit here and paste HDMI enable 4K uh, P60 equals 1. File save and now that port is enabled for 4k 60 fps that's literally as simple as it gets and then you just take out the memory card and cram it back in your machine and you're good to go so i do hope this entire tutorial helped you out if it did please remember to hit that like button subscribe if you want to see more of my tutorials or other gameplays or any of the other stuff that i end up doing uh if you have any kind of hardware to donate for me to experiment with to try and create things like if you have an old, you know, Pi 3 or Pi 2 or Pi 1 that you want something like this, you know, made for it, uh, 
feel free to give me a contact through my email, which is provided in my about section, or it's, you know, kamikaze at gmail.com. And uh, we can work something out. So I thank you again, and you all have a wonderful day. So toodles.